My sponsor, Instant Mud Coins, is currently running a holiday special. You guys can use code ZERK30 for 30% off or free 40 for 40% extra coins off your order. Links in the description. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Zerks coming at you today with another YouTube video and today we have Sean Alexander on the team and Michael Strahan on the team. Now if you guys did miss my last video go check it out. I did bundle battles with CC and ScoMo and if you missed my bundle for this morning go check that one out too because uh we may have got a LTD poll. Now, I did ask you guys over on Twitter if you wanted me to do this gameplay on current gen or next gen because obviously running the ball on next gen is a little bit weird, right? Doesn't look as fluent, doesn't look as good, and uh, by far and away, current gen won. So I'm actually back on current gen for this gameplay. I'm not playing on next gen, which I don't remember the last time I actually played a game on current gen. I've been playing all my games recently on next gen ever since I actually got the Xbox Series X. But I do want to give a shout out to Gavin Franks for being a part of the Noti Gang. If you guys have a chance, be shout out in the next video. Drop a like in the vid. Make sure you guys are subs to the channel. Turn the notification bell on and comment down below, Noti Gang. Also, guys, I am going to be giving away an extra $20 every single day leading up to new years because you guys show just insane support with Zerkmas this entire month thank you guys so much already sent out the xbox already sent out the 20 dollars giveaway but i have not gotten contact yet with the guy who won the 100 gift card he has until tonight to actually respond i dm'd him hasn't responded yet if he doesn't res uh, respond in time then i will be redrawing that giveaway but if you guys mean for a 20 dollars giveaway then i will also draw Tonight, all you guys are gonna do, comment down below, cookie, leave a way to contact you, drop a like in the vid, make sure you sub the channel, that easy. But as you guys can see, we do have Sean Alexander on the team now. Honestly, I tried to move around so many things for this gameplay. I tried to get like Seahawks, 10 chem, like 10 out of, I think you can get it to 50, 10 out of 50 on him, because that's all I can really do. I try to like move things around, max out, zone run, everything. Couldn't get him to 99 overall, unfortunately, but he does have zone run maxed out. He's got 97 speed, 98 excel, 89 agility, 98 carrying. Looks very similar to Bo Jackson. P.S. Bo Jackson gameplay, I uploaded yesterday, check it out. 91 change of direction, 94 truck, and 99 break tackle. He also has 99 juke move. It should be pretty fun. Now, in terms of abilities, I am going to go with Bruiser, more powerful truck and stiff arm animations. Uh, aside from that, really, I mean, he doesn't get, like, any super crazy abilities. He doesn't get, like, tank or, you know, uh, human joystick, anything like that. Uh, as well with Jukebox, because he's a power back, it's 3 AP. Not doing that. And we also got Michael Strahan on the team. Now, for Michael Strahan, on my defense, I run Lockdown Maxed Out. Once I get, like, more uh, higher overall players where I can start putting, like, Lockdown times four on a bunch of different players, so that way I can start to work on Pass Rush, things will be a little bit different. But for now, Michael Strahan, he's got Lockdown on him, so he gets those attribute upgrades. You guys see 91 Speed, 93 Excel, just nuts. 92 Strength, 99 Tackling, 95 Play Rank, 96 Block Shed, 97 Power Move. This card is crazy. Uh, and he also has a 99 tackling now with a 95 hit power. The card's just nuts. Also unstoppable force and double or nothing is the only build we're running on him. By the way, he does actually get edge threat elite, but 5 AP, that's, uh, that's not worth it. Let's get the gameplay. Looking to take your game in Madden 21 to another level? Make sure to check out HotRoute.Tips. Get access to ebooks, tips, and schemes for Madden pros. Use code ZERK for 10% off. Let's dominate Weekend League. Now, we are going to be playing House Rules in today's gameplay. Per usual, these last couple gameplays, I've been playing House Rules, and I've been having a lot of fun with it. And also, it's kind of fun because we get to play, like, multiple people in every single gameplay, so... Let's get into it. Sean Alexander taking a big hit. As I said, I've been playing on next gen, so it's gonna take me probably a game or two to get back, like, just used to playing on current gen with how everything goes, but Sean Alexander, I maybe should've just kept running there. So Sean has already broken off at least one tackle so far, and you love to see that. We get a good block to the outside, and we pick a four. It definitely feels weird going from next gen back to current gen, but fourth and three, I'm looking to go to Sean out of the backfield, and I couldn't even get the ball off. I actually couldn't even get the ball off there, so that sucks pretty bad, as I'm pretty sure we would have had the first down, and now my opponent's gonna go to the run game, but I'm shutting that down. So third down and 10, can we stop him from getting this first down? I want to see if we can actually get a sack here out of Strahan, man. That's what I really want to know. As you guys can see, Strahan's getting double teamed. I'm gonna come back across the middle, and Calvin Johnson, easy 
Easy interception there. And it looks like my opponent didn't want to see Sean Alexander again. So let's hop into the next game. So first game, we didn't get to see a ton out of Alexander. And also Michael Strahan didn't really do anything either. But Natalie has fallen, I guess. So let's start off the second game here with another strong run. If we break that tackle, we take it to the house there. Second and seven, of course. You guys are know exactly who's getting the ball here. I'm going to hit a little juke there. And Jalen Smith tackled us. So third down and six. I don't know if we're going to be able to get this first down here, but... I guess we'll see what Sean's got as we get some decent blocks, and I guess I probably should have went to the right there. I'm gonna go right back to it though. Fourth and three. Hopefully, he just doesn't run commit. As long as he doesn't, we may be able to get this. Did I get it? He didn't get it. I think I actually had an animation where Sean was going to get the first down there, but then the second guy came in and uh, also got like the gang tackle animation. So, oh, I did not run commit. I did not just run commit on that play. Oh, that's a pick. Let's go, Charles Woodson. And I'm just going to go down so we can see some more of Sean. Well, I definitely didn't mean to run commit there on first down, but luckily Charles came in there and got that interception. We got the ball right back, and my opponent didn't mean to run commit. I wonder if he knows we're just going to run the ball literally every single play. Let's see if we can run it again. We get some decent blocks, and I guess I should have cut that behind Taysom. So I'm not going to lie. It is very weird to see how much quicker the game is now. I really just have to get used to it again as we didn't get the first down there. I'm really just trying to break like a big run here with Sean, which he actually is pretty good at receiving. So I'm gonna try to go to him here. Actually, Taysom Hill is just wide open, but I don't wanna score. Taysom was so wide open there. I just had to give him the ball to keep this drive going so we could just go right back to Alexander. Does he have the speed to beat everybody to the edge? Okay, let's do lose yards. So third and 11, you guys can see my opponents kind of keyed in on the fact that we're only running the ball. So it makes it about impossible to just run the ball. So I'm gonna try to hit him a little screen pass here and I tried to let my block in front. All right, fourth and 11, we are going to have to pass this ball here because we need another first down and we've got Taysom Hill. Taysom, wide open first down. And I actually just ran hurry up because I just want to try to run it out of here and see if he's going to expect the run. And you guys can see he did, but it doesn't matter. Get out of my way, Lance. Sean Alexander for the TD. I don't know what Lance was doing there. He was just running straight into me and I, I couldn't get him away. But I think my opponent is about to quit here. And if he does quit, which he did, we're going to hop into our third game. So in the first game, we got to see a little bit out of Sean, not much out of Michael Strahan. In the second game there... Sean Alexander, end up getting a TD. Let's see what we can do here in the third one, though, as we get a big hole to the right side, and nice juke there. On second and one, there is just a gaping gap right up the middle, and Fletcher, I tried to truck over him. Tried to truck over Fletcher there, but we couldn't get it done. Third in inches, and we easily pick up the first, but he fumbled the ball. All right, so we now have a fumble out of Sean Alexander. I'm going to let you guys know right now, I also played a couple of games with Bo Jackson, just in case you haven't seen the gameplay yet, and I never fumbled. And I will say, we took a lot of big hits. Like, I took a ton of big hits with uh, Bo Jackson, and I never fumbled one time. Sean Alexander, one big hit, and one fumble. Terry McLaurin down to about 17. Let's see what he does, though. Might go to the run game. Yeah, this is definitely going to be a run here with Bo. Can we shut it down? And we do. So I haven't really seen anything out of straight hand yet, but I also haven't really faced anyone that's, like, thrown the ball deep or really held onto the ball that long at all, as it looks like nothing's open underneath, and that's DeMarcus Ware, not straight hand. Well, I was hoping that would be straight hand there, but fourth and 18, let's see if we can get some pressure on my opponent, and it looks like nothing's really open. He's gonna throw it right at me, and that's me incomplete. So we got the stop, and we got the ball back, and now we're gonna go right back to Sean, as we're gonna hit my little screen pass here, try to juke someone out, and dang, we're taking big hits. Well, I was about to try and truck over Brian Dawkins, and instead, Dawkins trucked over us. <laughs> I'm gonna look to go to Alexander here, though, out of the backfield. He is wide open. Show off the speed. I think he's a little bit tired. He's definitely tired. Well, he definitely was a little bit tired there so i mean yeah he got caught but he was very obviously tired as i'm gonna hit the outside and sean here's picking up a gain of five see if we can hit the edge here bounce it to the left side i'm gonna try to truck over someone and again just no trucks so i have bruiser activated here with sean alexander and i've been trying to truck over people and i'm really just just not getting any animations you guys see right there i try to truck again nothing what is the point of having an eight hundred and fifty thousand coin 97 overall Sean Alexander, if you can't run the ball on fourth and one and pick it up, which we did. So we did actually pick up that first down there, but again, 
I'm a little bit disappointed in the fact that I haven't been able to truck over a linebacker, a D lineman, and that's his second fumble. So Sean Alexander has now fumbled twice in this gameplay. That's pretty crazy, but Dion's wide open. I'm taking the TD. And going for two down here. I am going to run it again. Now, he might get a block shot or something, but I'm going to try to truck over someone. And again, just didn't get there. So I'm going to say it right now. Between Bo Jackson and Sean Alexander, Bo is definitely better. Bo never fumbled for me. He's also one speed, one acceleration faster. And Bo was fighting on every carry. I mean, literally every single carry, he was dragging someone or falling forward and Sean, he's really not. All right, third and seven. Let's see if we can get a stop here. Once again, I just want Strahan to do something and Strahan actually almost got there. Strahan actually almost got the sack there, but we're up by two points. We cannot allow my opponent to get three first downs. Three first downs and we lose this game. I'm watching out over the middle and D Ware gets another sack. Marcus Ware just really seems to be my best pass rusher. I don't know what it is about that card, but man, he is... He is just filthy. Watching out over the middle, and that's going to be intercepted by Isaiah Simmons. And that really should do it for this game. As long as we can go ahead and pick up another first down here, this should be game over. And I'm going to run it three times with Alexander, and just can't get through there, man. And I've tried just about every single run as well. I mean, stretches, inside zones, like literally everything. Tosses. I have tried everything here to get him going as we get a good block finally. And Alexander in the open field. He just doesn't have the speed. I try to truck him. I didn't think I was going to make it to the end zone there, so I just tried to truck over him. Once again, we're going to go right back to him, try to cut it back to the inside and truck someone, and I just, I can't get a truck. Okay, second and goal. Can I truck over a linebacker or fall forward? Thank you. And this is basically game over. This could be the final run right here, but I'll probably run on fourth and goal if we don't get in, and we didn't get in there. So one final run to end off the game. Can we get into the end zone here? And we do. And actually, we've also got the two-point conversion which I mean I could easily pass this ball probably like a slant to Randy Moss but I'm just gonna run the ball here and we get in for another two-point conversion all right final play of the game can we get something out of stray hand you guys can see looks like not and we didn't catch the pick so that is gonna be it for the gameplay Sean Alexander he did score some TDs he had some broken tackles but two fumbles man that's bad uh, also, if we come down here and take a look at if he even had a stat, Michael Strahan did have one tackle. He got a pressure, no sacks though, so interesting. I still feel like Strahan's an absolute beast, just that game specifically. He didn't really do anything, and uh, I'm not a big fan of the, uh, of the Sean Alexander card, honestly. Like, he's pretty quick, but we did get caught, and then also, I mean, he fumbled twice. That's bad, and he just doesn't have the same fight that Bo Jackson does. Go watch the Bo gameplay, guys. Take a look at the comparison because Bo fighting literally every carry. Sean Alexander fell forward a couple of times. Just not the same. So with that being said, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, make sure to drop a like in the video. And of course, hit that sub button down below. I'll see you guys next time.